Back now at 738 and the increase in the number of home sales in the metro area is extending the amount of time it takes to sell. Area realtors say showing your best is critical and in many cases having the right paint color can really make a difference with home buyers. 90s real estate expert Lane Lyon joins us this morning. Lane is a realtor and managing broker at Caldwell Banker. Lane, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jordan. You know, we're thinking of everything to get homes sold right, right now. Right, exactly. And, and, you know, one Corey Rose just went through this herself. <laughs> yeah. Talk to us about the outside colors. What's going to help you sell your home fast? Well, you know, this is something that's actually been researched. Zillow, in fact, did a study recently of over 100,000 homes and found that, Jordan, these colors ha have a higher resale value. White, beige, blue, and gray. The neutrals of a neutrals, house. Neutrals, right. Yeah. Lighter colors. I've been out with buyers before who tend to express worries if, you're, if your house is too dark that it's going to fade sooner and they're going to have to repaint it oh, sooner. Interesting. So these are very neutral, obviously clean, works really well, and, and that's something to keep in mind. You know, when it comes to painting your home, uh, it's such a great investment because buyers will often look at a freshly painted home as they would like a new furnace, a new roof sometimes. Right. It's less work for them to do later. I talked to a painter that I work with a lot over the weekend and he says that paint colors can actually vary from neighborhood to neighborhood in the metro area whether or not they're doing the same color trim or light trim dark trim things like that that can all vary depending on where you are in the metro area he's actually doing a new build community where they're doing the same trim color as they're doing the body color very monochromatic interesting so okay. some of those trends are out there for sure. okay yeah i was going to say and when those colors that you had just put up right there when you look at homes from decade to decade mm -hmm. those seem to be the the ones that don't change too often. Absolutely. It's just that kind of classic yeah. clean. Yes, yes. Okay, now talk to us about the inside of a home because that's a different ball game altogether. Oh, it really is. And while we're talking about lighter colors on the inside, it's interesting to find out that nowadays having darker, moodier colors on the inside. Like what? Well, for example, take a look at this. Oh, this that's is a beautiful. very dark accent wall. But Zillow also found that homes that have dark charcoal paint on the inside are getting higher offers because buyers think it's more expensive really to have darker moodier paint say in bedroom even in kitchens to have some gray darker gray paint like that home improvement shows and social media are said to be playing a role in this trend right here you know for me i like the darker colors because sometimes when you have too light of a house and that sun gets in and you're trying to nap it just really keeps you up you know especially if you get up at i don't know two o'clock in the morning yeah that's like fair that. right okay so there are some paint colors to avoid if possible as well well and i'm sorry for people who like bright paint colors the realtor comes in and says Says, yeah, we need to neutralize mm -hmm. some of this. The reason is sometimes it's off-putting to buyers. In fact, there was a study about which colors are most off-putting okay. <laughs> to home buyers. So red and lime green, sorry to say, top the list. And it's interesting because I think I had a red kitchen back, I don't know, early 2000s. Yeah, well, fair. And as somebody who, you know, has a big interest in mental health, red also causes a lot of anxiety. So there red walls might be... Ooh. We don't necessarily need to feel anxiety when, when we're you're coming to look for a house, right? Uh, also the yellows. Again, and these are more taste specific colors. If you have this in your home and you love it, that's great. Just be mindful when you go to sell. We might be having a conversation about neutralizing a little bit just because it, it is taste specific. Yeah. Pink and turquoise also. Um, you know, we see a lot of kids' bedrooms yeah. in these colors as well. And sometimes they can pass. But again, in today's market, the more work that buyers have to do, they see dollar signs. Yeah. They're already paying interest rates in the 7% range, higher mortgage payments. They they just want to do less work. Well, and you think about it because you show a lot of homes mm -hmm. and when people walk in, they want to be able to imagine themselves in that home. So right. a lighter neutral color is like a blank canvas for them to be like, what can I do with this? And then this? make put their own touches later. Yes. I will also say, by the way, that black is the new red when it comes to front doors. Really? Yes. Corey was just telling me that exact same thing. Why yeah, is that? I wouldn't be surprised if she has a black front door because again, it's just really what's popular right now. Okay. And there have been some studies out there that people will pay more if the front door is black. So even just that little Because they think there. it's more expensive. Well, sure. And it's just uh, a little bit more updated, okay. which is what buyers like. Interesting. Lane, thank you for being with hey, us on the tips. Well, you're welcome. Have a good day. All right. You too, my friend.